Easy enough, right? Well, we all know how physically demanding sports can be, and as carefully as athletes take care of their bodies, they must also protect their mind. According to doctors at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, almost 140,000 high school athletes across the country suffer a concussion each year, with most of those happening on the football field. Now, symptoms can include having trouble remembering and concentrating, feeling dazed or sluggish, headaches, pressure in the head, blurred or double vision, sensitivity to light or noise, and even symptom, symptoms such as vomiting, dizziness, or unsteady balance can occur. While these may appear immediately after a collision, they could also develop over several days or weeks. So if you're wondering if your child has a concussion, get them to a doctor immediately. It's better to err on the side of safety. It's better to assume that it's a concussion. Take them off, bring them in. We'll be happy to see them. You want to get seen by somebody who has experience dealing with concussions and, and knows the ins and outs and is up to date with the latest literature. And we want to get that, our goal is to get that athlete back uh, as soon as we can to play. But it's also as safely as we can. We, we want to return them at a time when we think it's safe for their brain to tolerate the sport again. So that brain injury needs to heal and our goal is to get them back and as timely as safe manner as possible so if they have an injury like that they should really come in well playing a sport with a disability and playing it well can certainly